Hello YouTube users. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a simple virtual camera effect that will make it look like a camera is following the player. Note that I said virtual camera effect. I'm not really going to show you how to add a real virtual camera. The code I'm going to show you is actually so simple, you're gonna think, hey, why didn't I think of that? And the tutorial is so short, my intro is probably longer than the actual lesson. Also, in most cases, it's a lot less code than a VCAM, and it's a lot easier to understand. Before we get started, you need to have watched my tutorials slash CS4, CS5, platform game tutorial, part 1 and part 2 to understand what's going on. So let's get started. First off, we should change our floor movie clip a little bit, or you can make a new floor, and that's what I'll do. So go to insert, new symbol, or go to the library and click on the new symbol icon at the bottom left of the panel. I'm gonna call it floor underscore MC and press OK. Then I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw some rectangles. This time I'm gonna make them long so that it takes up more space than my stage. And that seems good, so I'll go back to the main timeline. Now let's change the floor. So I'll select it and go to the properties panel and press swap and switch it with the floor underscore MC movie clip. Now open up the actions panel by pressing window actions or press F9. Scroll down to the move the circle function and where we have the condition for moving the circle to the right instead of having circle underscore mc dot x plus equals 5 we're gonna put floor underscore mc dot x minus equals 5 do the same for the left key Now test the movie, and dang I'm good. We have a simple virtual camera effect, and to think, we only changed two lines of code. 